If you're not growing basil with your tomatoes, you're making a mistake. If you're not growing basil with your tomatoes, peppers, and eggplant, you're making a mistake. I'm gonna show you why in this video. Hey, I'm Brian with Next Level Gardening. If you're looking to join an online garden community that offers tips, tricks, and support to help take your garden to the next level, you're in the right place. Get started now by clicking subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss anything. Now let's get growing. So I'm sitting here amongst my tomatoes and my basil because I learned four or five years ago to plant basil next to tomatoes. Not because it makes the tomatoes taste better, because it doesn't, that's scientifically impossible, but because the strong scent of basil actually confuses the moth that lays the eggs that lead to the dreaded tomato hornworm. The moth finds the tomato because the tomato has a strong scent, but not as strong of a scent as basil. Here I am sitting amongst both of them and all I smell is basil. So that strong scent confuses the moth and they look elsewhere. In four or five years, I have not had one tomato worm in my garden until yesterday. So way up there is the raised bed that I was working on uh, in the video that we filmed for School of Traditional Skills. And during that video, we planted some peppers and that's a nightshade. The tomato hornworms like peppers almost as much as they like tomatoes. We did not plant basil in that bed for whatever reason. And it's the only place on the property that doesn't have basil. I have basil throughout the garden. Everywhere there's something growing, there's basil mixed in. Different types of basil. There's Thai basil that has like a licorice taste or a fennel taste. Um, it's great for tea um, in Thai dishes. The bees love the blooms. And the great thing about the, the Thai basil, it doesn't seem to get bitter after it blooms as the green basil does. So you could plant that, let the bees have a field day, have it keep away the tomato hornworm and just look beautiful because the flowers are gorgeous. I have basil all along my tomato bed here and there's no tomato worms. But yesterday I came outside and I was looking up in that bed that we built and I thought the squirrels had gotten to one of my pepper plants because it was like stripped. Forgetting about the tomato hornworm because all we see around here is squirrels until I looked a little bit closer and what do you know there was a hornworm and then I looked a little closer and there were six or seven tomato hornworms on that one uh, pepper plant. So I plucked them off and squished them and came back over here to check and guess what not one tomato hornworm on any of these uh, tomatoes on any of the peppers and I have probably 15, 20 different pepper plants down in the other part of this garden, nothing. Why? Because there's basil next to all the other nightshades in the whole garden. Now you can say it's a coincidence, but four or five years with no tomato worms and the first one that shows up is the only area of the garden without basil. I don't know. It doesn't cost you much. So plant some basil, whatever type you like, plant all kinds. And if you watch my video from last week, which I'll link down below, you know you only have to buy basil once and I showed you how to propagate it and keep it going every single year. So if you learned something, please give the video a thumbs up, uh, share it with a friend if you can, consider subscribing if you haven't, and I'll see you next time.